tonight on Risk and Reward. We are pleased to have Michael Birek on the show. He founded the University of Calgary Translation Association, and while he attended the university studying linguistics, he also attended several other universities studying various languages. He is now the CEO of the company Languages in Motion, a translation company here in Calgary. Welcome to Risk and Reward, NETV's exploration of success and the stories of those who have achieved it. I'm your second host, Eric Stroppel, and today we have Michael Burke in the studio. Welcome. Thank thanks, you. thanks for coming in, Michael. Pleasure. Now, to start things off, how did you get into the field of translation and linguistics? Well, actually, uh, it all started out from a passion as a, a young university student. I started out here at university and I, with a couple of people, I started the University of Calgary Translation Association. And because of such a massive response from the university students, um, it, it basically took off. In our first week, we had 140 people uh, sign on to join the club. So it was an amazing response from the students. That same response carried out into the community and we actually had people from the community contacting our association for translation services. Now when I realized that that wasn't possible to service the students or service those people with a student organization, that's when I created Languages in Motion. Wow. Now how would you define success? Um, well success is, I would believe that um, it, it, it's, it can be broken apart into many different facets. The, I think success is not just about um, one area of life. I think it goes into your personal, your family, your finances, your business, and in all, in all respects of life. I think that to be a real success, uh, you have to be a, a very well-balanced individual. You have to spend time with your family on a regular basis. You have to spend time with your friends. You have to spend time working your butt off at business, right? You got to do all those things and you got to put everything into it in each different area of life. What was the greatest barrier that you had to overcome to, in order to achieve your success? The greatest barrier for me, um, I think honestly it was that, uh, it, well you know at, at first it was not, not believing in myself, not believing that I was able to accomplish something. I think fear and doubt and worry I believe and obviously ridicule um, from you know people that you know may put you down, but um, I think those things were the beginning. And once I, well, I actually study a lot of personal development, and a lot of that stuff taught me to just eliminate those barriers. And once those were gone, honestly, Eric, it was like smooth sailing from there. Now it's just kind of automatic for me. I just go after an opportunity, and nothing stops me. I don't even listen to that voice in my head that tells me you can't do it anymore. Wow. Now just to wrap things up. What would you call the reward that you, that you achieved in taking your risks? Honestly, I think, I mean, I'm the, I, the biggest reward for me is the fact that I get to live my passion. Um, when we take down those barriers of fear and, and doubt in ourselves, we get to live our passions. Therefore, that equates to a well-rounded um, personality, excitement. I mean, excitement for life, love for life. You know, I post on my Facebook how much I love my job. I really do. I really love, you know, serving people in the way we, that our company does. We're helping new people come to Canada. We're helping law firms, uh, oil and gas companies communicate across, across, the, um, across the world. It's just so exciting to be able to have that kind of an influence and to be able to see the change in not, my, not only myself, but even the staff and the translators that work with us. It's great. Well, that's fantastic. Well, thank you com for coming on, Michael. A pleasure. Thank you. And hopefully your story inspires others.